previously on Zion Guitar. Remember, the one is a major, two, you wanna be my number one. Ah, 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 ah. And many other songs. Third fret with your pointer finger, place the middle finger on this. Viewers and subscribers, let's continue, let's resume, let's proceed. Now, if you haven't seen part one, I implore you to go back and watch part one because there are some details, there are some things for you to see and to know before you can, you know, get here. All right, so this is especially for the beginners, please do that. Okay, and remember, watch the entire video, don't just get the first part and jump with it, you know, and just run along with it. Watch the entire video. All right, so now these two cards. Remember, we're in the key of G, my favorite key, right? So you do not want to just strum these two cards, right, for like three, four minutes, right? No, it's going to sound dry and monotonous, right? So you want to add a little bit of something for it to sound like, you know, a sound a certain way, sweet, okay? So, so I'm now going to show you the next movie to show you guys how to add a little bit of slurs a little bit of slides and how to go in probably some higher registers and you know change the cars around you know a little bit now like i told you guys the root the one is a major two minor three minor four major five major six minor seven it's a minor seven flat five nobody really uses that in in reggae and um back to eight to eight you know which is really the one it's a major all right if you feel confused right here one of the main reasons you should go back and watch part one now so yeah so let's start because remember now it's reggae i have a little bit of delay on my guitar because you know it's just me and it's only just going to be you so you want it to sound a little bit of it's you know the music is moving so now here we go so Dennis Brown have you ever so instead of have you ever have you ever have you ever been in love before All right, so you don't want it to just sound like that right throughout the entire song. So now you want to be able to change the cards a little bit, add a little bit of sugar to it. All right, so especially when you, when you get to the chorus, that's when you the. So now you can add those notes also to the cards, all right? So it will sound like this. Already, you hear that? So you'll be, before. Already, it sounds good. So you're going to be, have you ever, no. have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been in love before? Before. All right. So, already sound good. All right. So what I did there, I use 
the major seven. So when I get when I get to the chorus, I start using major seven and minor seven. Now I'm going to show you guys how to form those. So we're not going to really concentrate on the name of the cards. I'm going to show you guys how to form it. Then after some time after we can talk about the name of the cards. All right. So here we go. So this is G major seventh. All right. So you want to play, you want to hold it like as if you're holding the B minor. If you do not know how to form your B minor, you want to buy the whole second fret. Place your middle finger on the second string, third fret. Pinky finger on the third string, fourth fret. Place the ring finger on the fourth string, fourth fret. I remember you're strumming, you're playing from the fifth string. That's for the, um, the B minor. But now we are farming the G major seven. So you want to hold that and you want to, you want to put the pointer finger over on the G right there. And that right there, folks, is your G major seven. Now there are many other ways to farm it, you know. That's one right there. Here's another one. Here's one. There are many ways to farm, farm this card. All right. So, of course, and this is one of the reasons why you guys need to learn the number system and understand your major skills and all those stuff. Okay. So, we are going to be talking about that also. All right. So, remember, we're taking it from the basic. We're taking it from down here all the way up. All right, so stick with me and watch every single tutorial and you will learn so much. All right, so yeah. Now to get this note, simply you go back to that G major seventh and you want to use this part of the pointer finger. You just want to rest it on the second fret, on the first string, second fret right there. Okay, hope you guys can farm that. So you're going to get that. Of course, you don't have to. You can just use a regular G major 7. But to make it sweeter, that's it right there. All right, so here we go. Four. Now, to the 2, which is the A minor, but you're going to form A minor 7. So remember, I showed you guys how to form this already in the previous tutorial. So go back and watch that. So... Now, to get this minor seventh, you're just going to lift the pinky finger. Already sounds better than you. Okay. Sounds sweet. I always use minor sevens in all my, my songs. All right. Now, to add a little bit more sugar to that, you want to place the pinky finger on the second string and this should be your eighth fret second string eighth fret and you play that so now you have those cards sound so much better different from so here's the difference So you want to get before, before. All right, and we can take it further. You know what I mean? So let's get back to the chorus. Let's go like um before. Now listen to this. Before you're my sugar, uh, uh, uh. you know. So I played some advanced cards just now, of course, but it's still a one to two. It's still the same, basically the same card progression, right? But 
I'm going to leave it up to you guys because I do not want to discourage especially the beginners so um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to let me know if you would like to learn these cards and how they work so if I get enough votes on that then we will do a part three all right so for now we're just gonna stick to this and then we're gonna jump to the higher register all right I'll show you how to farm those cards you know the higher register so it's G's here, G's here. So one to a two, so here's one to a two. All right, so um, to farm this G major seven right here, by the whole 10th fret, place the middle finger on the third string, 11th fret, place the pinky finger on the second string, 12th fret, place the ring finger on the 4th string, 12th fret. So, here it is like that. Again, middle finger there, pinky finger there, finger there. One more time. Pinky finger there, middle finger there, ring finger there, all right, so, so now the two, bar the whole 12th fret, place the middle finger on the second string, 13th fret. You want to place the ring finger on the fourth string, 14th fret. All right, you probably you guys can probably can't see, so you got have to listen to it and listen to what I'm saying and place the fingers. All right. So now you have. So before. All right, and that's the. G major 7 to A minor 7 right there. Okay. So now you can play the chorus again. Before. Before. Jump. You're my shoe. Which takes me to my next part so now you want to be able to add some slides you know some double stops some little skank a little bit of something all right to sweeten the, um, the